everyone, I'm Holly from Handprinted and today I'm going to show you how to use a slip strop to keep your lino and woodcut tools nice and sharp. When we're carving wood and lino, it's really important to keep our tools as sharp as possible so that it's easier to carve, but also so it's safe to carve. Having great sharp tools is going to make your life so much easier when you're carving. We like to use a slip strop by flex cut to keep our tools sharp. It's a block of wood, two strips of leather, and it's got lots of different shapes, lots of different profiles in the wood for keeping all different kinds of shapes of tool sharp. It also comes with this flex cut gold compound. You can buy this separately as well if you run out. And this gold compound has been formulated to apply it to the strop. You draw it on like a crayon. So to start off with, we've got this flat piece of leather at the side and we want to load up a generous amount of this compound on the leather. I'm going to start off by this V tool. I'm using the tools from our um, Japanese wood carving, um, liner carving sets. And we're gonna start by working on the outside edge. So you should be able to see that there's a bevel on this edge here. And I want to run that bevel, keeping the right angle, run that bevel along my compounded surface. To get a nice mirror shine on that beveled surface. Now I'll turn my tool over and this is where the profiles come in handy. So I want to identify the shape that is the um, closest to the tool I'm using, the most appropriate one. So I want to load that up with my compound as well. And then I want to draw it towards me. And this should remove any burr from the inside of your tool to keep it nice and sharp. With the curved tools, like the U-tools, again, I'm going to load up my surface with compound. And then I want to keep this bevel here, this angle, flat to the leather. And I'm just going to rotate my curve as I pull down the leather, just to make sure the whole of that beveled surface gets polished. Then going to load up my wooden part with compound and draw down the shaped profile. To remove any burr and that should keep it nice and sharp. If you've got any flat knives or chisels you can draw them down your leather at the angle of the bevel to keep it nice and sharp. If you've got any wide chisels with a very shallow bend that's where this piece comes in handy. You can use this piece of leather and this profile here to polish up those shapes. It's really good practice to keep your tools sharp as you're carving with them. So don't wait until they get really blunt. Keep using your slip strop. Use them every 30 minutes or so or at the end of every carving session to make sure your tools are a pleasure to use every time. Keep using your slip strop over and over again and then just top up the gold compound if you run out. I hope that helps you look after your tools. Happy printing!